All right, welcome to another ASC Productions video. Um, I was working on a video on this laptop. Just to review, it's another $200 laptop I picked up um, this week to review, review for you guys. It's uh, it's a new model um, from HP. Um, it's just ca called a notebook. It's not a um, so it doesn't fall in it under any of their other product lines. They just call it an HP notebook. Really inexpensive. This was two hundred dollars, and the reason why I bought it is because um, it has one of AMD's new APUs, and so I wanted to give it a go as far as you know some graphics performance things like that. Another reason I picked it up is because it had a um, hundred and excuse me a uh, 1080 screen, so it's a 1920 by 1080 screen on a 14 inch laptop that costs two hundred dollars, which is just in my experience unheard of and it's a really nice screen. I'll review it in, in completeness but as you can see here um, as part of that review I just decided to go ahead and, and do a teardown on it because one of the complaints I have with it is you can't expand the storage on it as easily as you could. Um, I don't have one in here with me but uh, um, if you see my other videos um, my Atom based uh, Asus or, or my newer um, Dell um, have micro SD slots on them that you mount the micro SD in there and it sits flush. Well, on this laptop, the, it doesn't take a micro SD, it takes a full size SD card and it sticks out. And so I decided to go ahead and, and, and tear it down. And I've done just that and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws. Um, so it's a lot of screws to take out of the laptop to get the bottom off and you have to take off two of the rubber feet which I hate doing but then once I took it off and flipped it over I noticed a few things on here that's really exciting let me see if I can't get a little bit closer for you here sorry for the jerkiness okay so first things first this came with four gigs of memory and that's here that is not soldered on the motherboard. That is removable and upgradable. If you notice here, it has a second slot. So I think this system can actually be upgraded to 16 gigs of memory, which is huge. That's huge for a laptop of this price point um, to have that uh, option to upgrade. Most of these that have like a 30 gig, or excuse me, 32 gig um, storage on them, they uh, they can only or they can't be upgraded at all so you're stuck with whatever you get so this one is upgradable and I'm gonna see I think I have a, a a memory stick floating around somewhere where I'll grab an 8 gig out of one of my other laptops the other thing you notice this big open spot I think this system board is meant to be used in other systems because right there now that is not a slot for a hard drive what it is, however, is a slot for a CD-ROM drive. Now this is out of my Lenovo. Come on, focus. It doesn't want to focus, I apologize. But this actually fits right there. It would plug in if I could get it. You know, it obviously interferes with uh, other things on this board. So I can't quite get it to plug in. But w what I'm thinking is you can get adapters like this that have a hard drive caddy instead of a CD-ROM drive. So if I get one of those, take it apart, I can put it in here, maybe even just hot glue it in place, and have a uh, full-size hard drive in here, or an SSD, or a hybrid drive of, of some kind in here, which to me is super exciting um, to be able to upgrade a laptop at this price, because um, to be able to buy a laptop for two hundred dollars with a 1080 screen the next closest I could find a 14 inch so as close to apples apples as I could was four hundred and twenty dollars this was literally two hundred dollars and that was it so um, you know I could, I could put in you know uh, sixty dollars worth of SSD ten dollars for the adapter um, and another few bucks for a RAM and I'm still well under three hundred dollars and I have a pretty smoking machine here now it's not the fastest in the world but it's actually surprisingly good um, 
and I'll go through a more in-depth review of the actual system once I get everything back together. But um, yeah, no, I'm I'm very very happy with this purchase. Very excited for its possibilities and looking forward to giving you a full in-depth review on it. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.